As a girl, my dream home would definitely have to be the kind of home that had a lot of great places to hide. <laughs> Only because I feel that, um, and I still feel this, and I see it when I go to other people's homes. I love it when there's little, little areas within a home, either a bay window or a small sitting space or even like a small kitchen nook that people where it's maybe one or two or three people can gather together and sit really close to each other and just sit there and either share a meal or share a conversation or share a joke or maybe even play a board game, who knows? But I really have always been in love with those kind of little niche spots that homes have. And I remember thinking, God, I wish my home had more of those. Because mine was just like 1940s wartime home. Let's slap it out there because, I mean, unfortunately, that's what it was. And it was just big open spaces, no places really to hide unless you go in the closet. But really, it, that's what I really wanted to see, you know. Okay, the kitchen was great. Okay, the living room was great. The bedrooms were great. Everything was great. But I really wanted to see more of these little spots. And you see them a lot in craftsman homes like these small little sitting areas where you get the sunlight coming through a window and it's shining on this nice little table and you've got like a really nice little little couch, maybe a love seat, nothing too big, not the huge sectional, but something really small and a little table and maybe a couple of plants and you're sitting there and you're able to like play cards or you're able to have a conversation or maybe you're not doing anything with the other person. Maybe they're reading the magazine and you're reading the paper and this is just that little space where two people or three people can share and it's just you just feel like there's no other space around you except that one.